You're not a react. Let's bring in someone who's going to help be a part of the solution right now, which is Franklin Graham uh, with Samaritan's Purse, the president of Samaritan's Purse. Franklin, thank, thanks so much for being here. And as we talk to you, we're going to continue to show some of the drone footage out of Kentucky from the Fox News uh, flight drone. But just as you, you see this coverage and you hear about the devastation, Franklin, your reaction? Well, first of all, uh, there's tremendous need. Uh, not only for the recovery, for people to get under roof, for people uh, to get their businesses back, uh, get their lives back, but you think of the loss of life. Uh, these are fathers and mothers and, and children, aunts and uncles that, that passed away. We cannot replace uh, the, the human life. And so for the next uh, couple of days, uh, we've got uh, chaplains in there from the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association who are there just to pray with people, put the arms around them, love them, uh, try to care for them, listen to their story, and just comfort them. And I think for the next day or two, that's one of the biggest needs is the comfort. Mm. Uh, watched on another network, a man who uh, had been married for 37 years, lost his wife in the candle factory. He was there looking for her. And uh, they have children and grandchildren together. And his wife of 37 years uh, is gone. And as people like that just need to, we need to pray for them. And I would encourage people watching, as you look at all this devastation, pray for the people that have lost so much. Now, Samaritan's Purse, we're in Mayfield right now. Uh, we're also uh, in Monette. Uh, we'll be in a couple other locations. And what we'll be looking for, uh, helping people, first of all, people whose houses were completely destroyed, uh, helping them try to find things that are precious to them. Maybe it's a wedding ring. Maybe it's a, a picture book um, of, of something. And they're, they're, these are important to them. And we'll have volunteers to help clean off their lot, uh, try to find these things for them. And then in the communities, in these neighborhoods where there was not as much damage, there's still roofs that have been blown off. And uh, we're going to help put those roofs back on. We're going to help clean up their yards and get them going again. So we'll be there for, for some time. And the, but these people need our prayers. And I would encourage people, please pray uh, for the people uh, of Kentucky and Arkansas and Illinois. It's just incredible what's happened to them. Franklin, I just, I love your organization. And we had an interview earlier with a commissioner in Mayfield. And we said, what can, what can people do? And he said immediately, pray. And this is what I think your organization, it does the good work. It put, puts the roofs back on. It helps with the cleanup. But this is what soulless government agencies and bureaucrats can't do, which is pray and comfort people. And I'm so glad to hear that mm. that's such a priority for Samaritan Purse in these first couple days. Well, you know, sometimes people ask when a storm like this passes, uh, is God mad at us? Mm. And I want to assure them, no, he's not mad at us. Uh, all of us have storms in our life that we go through in life. And uh, it's hanging on to what we know will get us through that storm. And that's God and his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. I want the people of this area to know that God loves them. He hasn't turned his back on them. Mm. Mm. Franklin, obviously, Samaritan's Purse offers this spiritual aid as well. Um, but as we mentioned, the commissioner, after asking for prayers, I believe it was he who said Samaritan's Purse is a charity that sticks around. Others have mentioned it this morning as well. Every charity does good work. Every charity does necessary work. But what distinguishes Samaritan's Purse as time goes by? What distinguishes what you do? Well, we, we have uh, volunteers that come and work with us from all across the country. Uh, we put uh, managers or, or program managers on the ground who go out and canvas the community, find out uh, where the hardest hit areas are, get permission from the homeowners to work on those properties, and then we'll send a, a team to go help that homeowner uh, clear off their property, put the roof on, cut the trees off the roof, whatever the case may be. And we'll stay there uh, as long as we have a work order. And uh, a person can come to our, our facility, give us a work order, and they'll, I'm sure they'll be in the thousands. But we'll stay uh, months uh, and need be, uh, we'll be there for years. We're still in Louisiana. And we've been down there now for several years. And that's another area that still needs volunteers. It's another area that's still been devastated by those hurricanes earlier this year. And so we just don't, we just, we just don't come in for a few days and leave. But we'll be there for a long time. And um, it, uh, it's something we just feel is very important that we just don't take pictures and try to raise a little money and leave. But we stay until mm. the job is done. Mm. Yeah. 
So significant. Uh, if our viewers or others want to get involved, they want to volunteer, they want to give money. Is this something people can do now? Do you, is there a training program? What, 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 how can people get involved? Absolutely. They can go to our website, SamaritansPurse.org. Uh, we need volunteers. And if you would like to volunteer, you uh, uh, go to the website, sign up, and it'll be probably sometime uh, in the next two or three days before we get back to you. But uh, we'll tell you our location, where we are, and how to show up, and what to bring, uh, where you can stay. And so we'll have all that worked out. But we will need volunteers. We'll need them this week. We'll need them all the way. We need them. We'll need them on Christmas Day. We're not going to pull out just because it's Christmas. That's when mm. we're needed the most. Mm. So we're going to be there Christmas Day working. Ah, oh, gosh, that's so. That, that's that's it's it's just it just makes me want to tear up. It's that you're doing exactly what needs to be done. Um, Franklin, and we're so grateful for your work and your organization. We hope everyone will donate time and money um, to, good, to Samaritan Purse. And um, that's a faith-filled mm -hmm. community that you're serving right now. And I'm sure they're, they're welcoming your assistance. Franklin Graham, Thank God you. bless Thank you and you. Merry Thank Christmas. You,